Uh, this question involves a uh, scatter diagram. It's given some information about um, the height and arm length in, for some adults. So scatter graphs are about the relationship between two variables and they show a general pattern. So the kind of words we get uh, involved with this uh, topic area are things like positive correlation, negative correlation. So positive correlation is where the crosses generally uh, go up, which means as one variable increases in value, the other variable does. Uh, negative correlation, then you see the kind of opposite pattern going on as one variable increases, the other decreases. And then you have what's called zero correlation, which suggests that there's no real relationship between the two values, uh, no linear relationship, that is. So like with all um, graph questions, the uh, first thing to suss out is the scales that have been used for the axes. So we can see along the bottom axes here that for every 10 uh, centimetres, then we've got 10 little squares, so it's one little square is worth one centimetre. Um, going up the side axis, the arm length, again, the 10 centimetres is worth 10 little squares. So as it happens in this one, they've uh, used the same scale that each little square is worth one centimetre. The question is asking you to plot two values. So we've got a height of 175, so on the scale we can go across and find 175. And the arm length is 70, so if we go up to the arm length and then we plot that as a cross like they've done. And then we've got to go 163, so again being careful, uh, we've got to 160, 161, 162, 163, and they want us to go to 67. So 60, 65, 66, 67. So we plotted those two points uh, carefully and just do a double check. So 67 and down to 163. That seems fine. Um, one of the good techniques to do with um, scatter graphs, uh, just to check things, is to get your ruler and to just check by drawing your line through and you can see that it is 163. And if you read off values as well, then again, use your ruler as a guide. That can help. So on the scatter graph, plot the information, so we've done that bit. It then says, uh, what type of correlation does the scatter graph show? Well, there are um, three main types of correlation that you're expected to know at GCSE. Um, this one uh, generally looks so as the height increases, the arm length increases. So that would be a positive correlation. So looking at spelling carefully. So this is positive. As it said the word correlation there, you can just leave it as the word positive. Just be careful. If the question said describe the relationship, then as well as saying positive correlation, you would then say as um, the height increases, so does the arm length. So again, just watch out for that keyword, uh, sometimes uh, given in a scattergraph type question. Um, the last part of this question says, estimate uh, the arm length of a 165 centimetres tall adult. Now, estimate doesn't mean just kind of guess or it looks about. Uh, you should really use uh, mathematical skills here. And with all graph questions, uh, when you interpret them, then the best thing to do is draw, on particular on a scattergraph, is a line of best fit. Uh, what that means is that you look at the crosses, uh, look at their general trend, their general direction, and as we said, it's a positive uh, trend, this one. So we're really looking to follow the trend of the crosses, so we draw a line of best fit all the way across the graph, such that we can see that there's roughly the same kind of distances from the crosses to the line, from underneath the line, as there is from the crosses above the line. So roughly around the same number of crosses is the usual good guide. So we've got about four crosses underneath here, and roughly three crosses above, and a few crosses that the line goes through. Um, please don't make the mistake of thinking the line of best fit always has to go through the bottom corner. Um, if you did that, then it really would not follow the trend of the crosses. So you do look at uh, what the trend is. So using our line of best fit, this will then help us to estimate as accurately as we can. So we're saying 165, so again, always draw your method. So we get our ruler and we draw up to the trend line, up to the line of best fit, and we then come across horizontally and we then read off as carefully as we can. <coughs> so if we look carefully, we can see that it's 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69 to the nearest centimetre. As it wants an estimate, nearest centimetre is fine. So we pop down 69 centimetres in the answer box. So that's the kind of question they could ask you on scattergraphs. Quite a popular question on Unit 1. So it's worth learning uh, it well, um, particularly the uh, types of correlation. 
and watch out for that uh, describe word when uh, they want to put in a slightly harder question on the scattergraphs.